Hi guys, I'm Pete and welcome to another episode of PC Repairs for Dummies. Okay guys, one of the most frequently asked questions that I get nowadays is can I roll back my Windows 8 machine to Windows 7? Now, the answer to that question is uh, yes you can, but it is quite difficult. Uh, if you have a machine that originally had Windows 7 on it, and you install Windows 8 over the top, then uh, it's relatively easy to roll that back to Windows 7. However, if you have uh, a reasonably new machine that is a Windows 8 dedicated machine, which a lot of the new laptops particularly are nowadays, then it's virtually impossible to roll it back to Windows 7. I'm not saying that it can't be done, it can, but it is quite, uh, quite a painstaking job. <clears throat> so guys, what I'm going to show you today is something even better. I'm going to show you how to make your Windows 8 operating system look and behave like Windows 7. Or as a matter of fact, you can even make it look and behave like Vista or Windows XP if you're still living in the dinosaur era. <laughs> now guys, Windows 8, before you poo-poo it and say it's a pile of crap, Windows 8 is actually a very good operating system and uh, it's really quite secure. It has a lot more security features uh, than any other Windows operating system prior. And uh, as a matter of fact, um, you know, uh, with regards to, to catching viruses, Windows 8 is a very good operating system. It's also a very fast operating system. And I would encourage you, if you have a Windows 8 machine, to uh, stick with it and use Windows 8. But now I'm gonna show you how to make Windows 8 behave like Windows 7. Here we go. Okay guys, this is a computer that I'm setting up for a, uh, a client of mine. Now this is a full-blown gaming rig. This is actually a pretty good machine that I've built uh, here. Uh, this one's running the latest Intel uh, Core i7, quad-core CPU, and it's running uh, 32 gig of uh, DDR3 RAM, uh, the latest Windows 8 64-bit operating system, and uh, 2 gig of dedicated graphics. Now, uh, I guess all that's beside the point because it doesn't really matter what sort of machine you're running, what I'm going to show you uh, will work. Now, the biggest complaint, I guess, uh, firstly, is with Windows 8, when you start it, this is the screen you get, which is an app-based screen. This is the startup screen, and this confuses a lot of people. And as a matter of fact, some people don't even know how to get past this screen when they first start up their Windows 8-based brand new machine. Okay, so, we're just going to come down here and we're going to click on desktop. And when we click on that, that's going to bring you back to a desktop that is kind of familiar. It looks a little bit familiar. But the biggest complaint that we get is down here on the left, over here, there is no start button anymore. So start button and the start button menu that was associated with every operating system since Windows 95 is now gone. So I'm going to show you how to put that start button back and uh, make this machine behave like either a Windows 7 or a Vista or even an XP machine. Okay, now, I've already put it on the desktop. I'm going to download a little bit of free software called Classic Shell. Now, I'm going to put a link down here in the description uh, to where you can get this software. It's a free download and it's only a small bit of software. So we're going to install it. We're going to double click on it. And we're going to go through uh, all the idiot prompts, accept the terms of service, click and install it. We're going to create a start menu folder because we do want it to run with startup. And we're going to install it. Once it's done, you guys are going to be amazed. Click on yes, yada yada. Installing it, beautiful. We're going to uncheck the view readme file because we don't need to read it. We're going to click finish. Now guys, the first thing that you're going to notice here, just let me zoom that out now, zoom out, is that, well, looky, looky, here's the start button, back in the menu, hey? Down here on the taskbar, the start button. Now when we first click on the start button, it's going to ask us, what do we want to do? Do we want to make Windows 8 look like Windows Classic, which is basically 95 or 98? Do we want to make it look like Windows XP or do we want to make it look like Windows Vista or Windows 7? Now, for the sake of this exercise, 
Uh, we're going to make this one look like Windows 7. We're going to click on that. We're going to click on Yes. And we're going to click on OK. And now, watch this, guys. We click on the Start button. And there is all the menus back again. You can go to My Computer. You can go to Control Panel. Look at that, guys. The menu is back. Now, I assure you that if you install this bit of software, you will never complain about Windows 8 again. And I really encourage everyone to use Windows 8. It's a great operating system. Once you put this Start button back, guys, you're going to absolutely love it. The whole operating system will then become familiar. And then all the other applications that come with Windows 8, all these app-based programs, you can then use them at your leisure. You can scroll through them, learn how to use them, practice how to use them. And I'll tell you what, gang, if you, uh, if you do what I've instructed you to do here, you're going to be a Windows 8 professional in the next to no time at all. There you go, guys. Hey, you can thank me later. <laughs> Love yous.